Portia Sabin at Pickathon 2016, and I'm talking to my Bubba. Hi. 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 <laughs> so tell us a little bit about yourselves. I know one of you is from Sweden and one is from Iceland. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. I have to tell you right off the bat, I'm really impressed that you sing in English. Is that because did you grow up speaking English? Yeah. And you grew up part of in California yeah. also. I but feel fairly American, so it's very natural for me to sing in English. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What about you? Did you listen to? English language music? I did, but more of the American folk music I I got introduced to by me uh -huh. when we met. You listened to Spice Girls, right? I listened to Spice Girls and Backstreet Boys <laughs> and had like silver lipstick as a ten year old. <laughs> yeah. But I think we're both very fascinated by the the past and tradition and history and when we met we kind of shared our, our two musical worlds that has then, you know, grown mm -hmm. into this project. Oh my stars, how you undo me Oh my stars Oh my stars You undo me So now I read that you started in 2010 yeah, so we were accidental roommates in Copenhagen and started singing together at home for, for the fun of it. Uh -huh. And but we then, uh, didn't really mean to be a band. Yeah, that just kind of happened to us. We, we decided these songs that we had been singing in the evening just to pass time. I was moving to Iceland, so we wanted to perform them to somebody before I left. And we did this open mic thing in Copenhagen and sang two songs. And as we sang those songs, this Italian cafe owner bicycled by. He was and on vacation. Yeah, and he came in like, <gasps> you have to come and play my cafe in Italy. You know, we were like, okay. <laughs> wow. And then he went back to Italy and like contacted his friend that was a professional booker that, you know, arranged everything for us. Yeah, and a whole tour. So yeah. then, we, then we were a band, you know. We're like, okay. We <laughs> and then did you love it? Were you like, yeah, oh, touring, yeah, this fun. is fantastic. And on the first tour, they, they were also running a small indie label and they yeah. invited us to come back to make a record the same summer, which also sounded fun. So we made our first album, How It's Done in Italy. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it's been growing organically in, in the same yeah the same way where things come to us and we say yes, you know. But we recently started our own label Ooh. to release our our latest record that came out in April. But that was sort of in in the same interest of, you know, keeping it within the family and start doing it on our own and doing it the way we want to do it and being in charge and, you know. So are you running the label yourself yeah. or do you have somebody helping? No, we're, we're running it, but of course we have we have a team of consultants good people. and we have, oh, good. yeah. Because I was going to say, it's hard to do yeah. that and also be a band. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's really hard. It's hard. <laughs> People find that out. Yeah, you oh know. yeah, it's hard. Yeah. But That's it's also very difficult. rewarding to be to be the yeah. boss. Oh my stars, how you undo me. Oh my stars, oh my stars, you. Well, thank you so much, my Bubba, for joining us today. We'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. It was <laughs> so nice to meet you. I love your story. Gosh, I could talk to you guys forever. So fascinating. <laughs>